T-DART project is to build a smart solar home with no lack of luxury, health, and comfort. A full independent power supply system keeps the house on electricity day and night. But what about the ambition, failures, and challenges that are behind this system? In a nutshell, what about our real story? Or the T-DART team story? All the adventure started here in Tangier, Morocco, in the Innovation Laboratory at FSTT. Students and the advisors validated the final layout of the project. Our focus was at a maximum. They should have taken a step forward because it was still only 40 days in their pockets. The biggest challenge in this competition is not only the building, but we need to have a positive energy balance in our house. Production higher than consumption. Meanwhile, CAD students worked hard on the final simulations to confirm their measurements. Because on the other side of the faculty, the construction team was waiting for the final cutting plans. We see the faces of no experience, but there is no going back. Today is our first day that the machine starts cutting the wood because we are building our wooden home. Now the serious job begins. Students do the handcrafts. Finally, we saw more confidence. The wall's module assembly became a full-time task. Then all the students were engaged in this heavy job. A week of woodwork. Finally, the first wall was transported to the concrete field. At this moment, we can see the excitement on everyone's face because they are contemplating the first steps of the house installation. All the communities were present to lend a helping hand. They literally lived a big moment in T-DART history. First wall now in place. After we've done all of the woodwork, now the first wall is installed and the others too. And for me, the job should be well achieved in order to win the competition. That's required a lot of standards. For example, the house should be modular. And it's not existing in Morocco, even in Africa. We know that it's just in USA. We built our home in FSTT and we will disassemble it and take it to Bangreir. We'll be the winners. More confidence and more engagement meant more ambition and a lot of emotions. The team started to see all the on-computer works become real. The wooden house visitable. Students continuing their tasks. And everything correct and precise. Oh, no. 
Finally, all the team members could walk inside their house after 17 months of project study. When we started the Tate Darts project, we were familiar with the first phase at the FSCT. It is conception and study phase, and now the real job begins. The T-Dart Smart Home was ready. Then the team prepared the data for the Comfort Committee to install the insulation system. But wait, what about the electricity, the heart of the solar building? This is the Renewable Energy Lab of the FSTT. And here we see all the Electrical Committee members. They are discussing the power management of the house because the solar panel should supply the normal electric consumption. And even at the peak, everything should be okay. For that, every little wire has its own influence. There is no place for mistakes, but there is massive confusion on their faces. How can we accomplish the wiring while disassembling the house at the end to go to Ben Greer? The team came up with a clever idea. They left the ground floor wiring halfway done and put the electric cabinet upstairs. This gives easy access to the whole electrical system. The house is going to be fully automatic. So that requires a lot of electronics inside. That means the cable management is very challenging. We see Mohammed is trying to figure out the full listed wiring to normalize the symbols in collaboration with the other members. Just to keep in mind, we have here a big challenge. We can't test our solar system in Tangier for two main reasons. First, we have a full solar panel kit that should be installed. Second, we have a DC-AC inverters unit. The fear is that the system fail and broke down at the end. Now the job will be done easily. Every corner has its own cable for the smart control units and for the electrical outlets. Nine p.m. and the electrical lab is full of activity. We can see components to be installed in the cabinet. Everyone is collaborating. Imagine yourself spending a full night in a smart house that collects its energy from sun rays. It's free energy, right? Yesterday, the team stayed here in the lab until the midnight. Today, at 7 a.m., they were at the workshop. We are the only team that collaborates with other committees in the construction, in the installation works. Every time, we were helpful, and we are the only ones work our electrical project and no one works with us. Don't worry, that's for sure. We trust you, Mohammed. Now all the wires are installed and we are waiting for the electrician to finish the cabinets to start testing the smart house system. We have arrived to the final step, the step of work work and work to achieve our goal for the participation in September and the victory. That's it. The DART is a big adventure, no doubt, and it's not easy that the sponsorship team be trusted by the industrials. Luckily, we could win the trust and thank them for their big support. The Dutch project is a big school of learning, thanks to the human potential and our sponsors who realize our project, which will be a Moroccan pride. Let's follow this dynamic for the good of our country, Africa, and for the planet. Today, we've just received from our sponsor these three types of insulation materials. We have the polystyrene for the ground and the roof, and other types for the walls. Everything should be named and coded. 
We need to cut every piece and place it, okay? This insulation compound we are installing here will decrease significantly the power consumption or indirectly environment preserving behavior. Thermal and acoustic insulation are the keys to comfort and luxury. Even the energy consumption efficiency will be improved. If we talk about climate control regulation, now the comfort team cuts the insulation lines and that requires a lot of work due to the big surface of the total house. Meanwhile, the rest of the team is preparing a second type of insulation inside the house. It's time to fit the insulation material inside the wooden wall. They work harder to fit every little piece in place. It is annoying and you have to repeat the same thing each time. The problem we have in insulation is in every room we have a lot of lines, and that is crazy. We measure the height, the width, and if we have a door or window, we need to measure the top height and the bottom. An extra one millimeter, the insulation will not fit. As you see here, we are building the first floor beside. We have an issue here. We need to build the inclined roof for the solar panels, and that makes our task very hard. Now with the dirt, we can use sun to supply fridges consumption and the climate control. That means cooling the house with the sun. We are at the peak of activities. Only six days left, and all the committees are present inside the house. Sarah is supervising. So in our team, we daily choose a site chief to be the manager of the present members in the construction area. Coincidentally, a lot of people apologized for today. There are so many absences while we are stressed because we have a lot of work to do. I will show you. To ensure that everything under control is not easy. At the first time, everything seems to be simple. Now, the activities are interlacing electrical engineering versus mechanical engineering versus the construction. And that's not simple. The main goal of the project is to preserve the environment, and that should start from the construction until the final touch. Ijlal makes her daily visit to make sure that all is going according to plan, and in these last days, the insulation compound generates a lot of waste, and that's no good. Innovation? Yes. These people are such a good workers. There are a lot of ways. Make sure that the sorting is correct. And don't forget, safety first. Hmm, what do we see here? Oh, finally it's time for water pipes. And that's not simple. The house is equipped with a water recycling system that reuses the sink gray waters for flushing tanks and a normal piping for clean water. Everything should be tightened and well attached. It seems that they have some trouble with placing the washing machine. We have a problem. We haven't decided yet where we can place the washing machine. Down upstairs is full. We propose to place it under the kitchen sink, but we have 90 cm in total height, and the machine height alone do around 84 cm. 
We should find a way to place it there. We are thinking to take it out from the kitchen and search for a place under the stairs. Even it's very tight over there. If not, we need to contact some provider to make for us a sink with a custom height. Now, everything is available for the house to be done. As you see, plumbing is ready, wires are set, and now we just have to make some final touch and disassemble the house to meet up in Bengal. Now we see the team successfully achieved the first challenge. The only thing that gives us some pause is disassembling the house and going to Ben Greer for the competition. Everything should be fixed, tightened, and precise. Welcome to T-Dart House. Preserving the environment has never been so easy. Here or there, T-Dart everywhere.